The most basic use case for using multiple cursors and selections is simply typing in multiple places at once. So if I hold down Alt and I drag down, I can type lorem5 and hit tab and generate lorem ipsum. Now I, if I hold down Alt and click, I can place multiple cursors all over inside of this text and delete text as I want or add text as I want. And I can even hold down Alt and create a column selection so that I can delete inside of there and then type anything else. Let's go over a few scenarios for multiple selections so you know when to use it instead of rename refactoring. So let's go into presentation view to focus on the text. And first, let's convert this into a single line statement. So we have var a comma b comma c. How you could do this is getting two cursors, deleting the space ahead and the space behind, and then typing a comma. And you could make that into a single line statement. Or we could do it the other way by deleting the comma, adding the semicolon, hitting enter, and typing var. Copy and paste also works. So if I want to select these, copy them, and then assign them to some object, that has a similar A, B, and C on them, I can simply copy and paste them directly in place. If I want to create a JSON object from this, I can just select these guys and then copy, go to the beginning of the line and end and hit delete, then go back to my single cursor by hitting escape. So I'll type var object and then add a couple blank lines, go up, open quote, paste, close quote, colon, open quote, then paste. And just for fun, we'll uppercase them and then close quote, comma, go back to single cursor, and then delete that guy. You can also use the select next occurrence shortcut to select everything that matches what's under the cursor. So if I want to change all of the H1s to H3, I just use the keyboard shortcut and then change them as I want. I can also do the same with select all occurrences. So if I use the select all occurrences shortcut, I can select all of the H2s in my app and change those to H1s. Another feature is if you have some sort of data set you want to copy and paste into a set of list elements, so I can grab all of this, simply I'll cut it, and then I'll move the cursors inside of here, and once I hit paste, it'll paste everything in place, even maintaining the different character lengths. I can also delete that entire word. I don't have to do it a single character at a time, so if I want to type something new, then that'll work in there as well. It's also worth noting that undoing works just fine, so I can delete these words and put them back to where it was before I even started. Autocomplete even works as you would expect, so I can select all of this, I can start typing class and hit enter, and then I can select the class that I want, like banner, and it'll autocomplete everything inside of there, and that works across all the languages that WebStorm supports. Lastly, it's important to note that all of the keyboard shortcuts can be changed to whatever you'd like. So go into your preferences in your key map, search for caret, and you can find that adding or removing caret is alt click. You can change that to whatever you'd like. Cloning the caret above and below, I change that to alt shift up and down, or you can change it to whatever you'd like. Or you can just search for the shortcut by typing the shortcut in here. For example, I mapped select next occurrence to command D, which is by default mapped to control G, or Command Control G for select all occurrences and you can remap that to whatever you'd like.